Good afternoon. Welcome to Barbara Sews and More. I'm Barbara and I had mentioned to you in my last video how that I wanted to get back into making uh, a list. Of, well, it's not a list. <laughs> a group of clothing anyway. Not like a, you know, where they all match, you know, eight, ten pieces and they all could be fixed together. Um, I have made those before. Um, um, I can't think of the name of what they're called. But um, but that's okay. I just want to get back to sewing um, to where I'm busy throughout the month to see how many items I can make in a month's time. And um, I have a basket here of fabric, whoops, of fabric and patterns of um, whew, of some um, choices that I've made. I've just been through my patterns and my one tote of fabric that I have. And I found some things that I like. And so I want to show it to you. Now, don't hold it to me. I mean, if, if I don't get all these done, I haven't even counted how many that I have here, but I should be able to if I keep busy at it. Um, let me show you the first thing that I think I'm going to, even though I'm, I've already cut out a skirt, a circle skirt that I was going to get on to immediately, I think I'm going to make that to be second. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm making a... Um, an apron for a friend of mine. Uh, she was talking to me here not too long ago about uh, how that they've started a garden and that she loves flowers and all that kind of stuff. And so I was thinking, I wonder, man, it'd be really nice for her to be outside in this pretty apron when she's down on her knees in the dirt and so forth. And so um, let me show you. Uh, here is, here's the pattern. It is actually a Daisy Kingdom pattern. Uh, simplicity 7481 and it is an older pattern i love these kind that you go over your head and then it crosses over looks like this person uh they've got a skirt on her of some sort or something up underneath it doesn't look like it's connected to the bottom but uh isn't that really cute and i love it here she's got a watering can i just like how they're selling this pattern but uh this actually came out i'm pretty sure i set uh, yeah, 97, 1997. So I've had this pattern a while or either that or I bought it at the thrift store for 50 cents or more. I don't know. But I just thought about her and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make that. So here's the fabric that I decided to use. It's these strawberries. Now, I just recently got this fabric. Oh, good night. I don't know. Two months ago from Joann's. And I think there's quite a bit here because my idea was to make a full skirt, full um, skirted dress and um, be summery. I'm trying to make it where you can see it. But uh, after I make this, I, see, let's see. She said that she said make a large because um, apron A large. So it takes about three and an eighth yard. So I might end up using most all of this. But uh I wanted to do this for my friend. I felt led to do it. Um, felt like it was something I was supposed to do. And it's such beautiful fabric. She loves the strawberries too. And you still get the little flowers as well as you have the fruit. And so this is the first thing I'm going to get started on. And uh, I got to cut it out first, obviously. But uh, anyway, that's the first thing I'm going to do. And so um, I love that. Okay, the next thing that I have, I'm going to put this on me because I have to keep bending down here. The next thing that I plan on doing is this pattern here. It is Simplicity D0742. And uh, it's this skirt. Um, I have made many. Uh, I say many. What is your idea of many? Four? Five? Yes, of just this skirt because it is a circle skirt. It is so easy. Um... It is so cute. It ha just has a little size zipper with a waistband, a button or a hook, however you want to uh, attach it around your waist. But uh, here are the line. There's a little thing right here flipping out. Here are the line drawings on the back. I don't know the lighting. If you can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Because in this pattern, you can actually see here, you can actually make the blouse with it as well as a little bolero jacket. But, uh, it comes so supposedly a vintage 40s style, but uh, it's really cute. Um, oh, and it's from the fabric. I think I'd already showed you this on another video. It is actually 
Let me pull it out here. It's in the very bottom, of course. It is actually already cut out, ready to go. It's got the polka dots, if you remember, and it has every once in a while, it has like a little silver one. I actually found a, um, a shirt that I already had that has silver sequins on the front of it, and it's kind of grayish. And I'm just thinking maybe it'll be a dead ringer to wear with this skirt, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, once I get the skirt all made up and I reveal it to you, I'll show you those other skirts as well that I have that are identical to it as far as the shape of it, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to start on immediately after I do the apron. These others, I don't know which order I'm going to do them in. But here is a pattern that I just love. It's actually a 40s pattern. It is Simplicity 1590. I love this one right here. It is so cute. It's got a bow that you bring around the back. The fabric for this says it's laundered cotton lightweight paquet, paquet I, and sateen eyelet silks, silk type, chamoose, chalice, crepe de chine. Laundried silks, rayons, voile, double georgette, handkerchief, linen. I mean, seems like you can just about use anything. But um, I didn't see anything about knits. <laughs> um, but yeah, here are the line drawings. And you can do the top one without a tie or the tie down here. But I just thought it was so cute. Uh, it says $17.95. Just like the patterns themselves, you know. They're so expensive, but... You can be sure I didn't pay that for it. This pattern came out in, um, two thousand thirteen. So I've owned this pattern a while. I'm pretty sure I probably bought it from Joann's, but or, or Hobby Lobby or someplace. Uh, if I got it at a thrift store or something, I know for sure I only paid like twenty nine cents, fifty cents. So uh, anyway, this is the blouse, but here is the fabric. Is this just not beautiful? Uh, I thought maybe it's going to be really, really heavy. But actually, it's a woven. It's not stretchy at all. It, it's not heavy. And this is the back side of it. And then, of course, um, this is the front side of it. It is uh, blue, and it has a lot of gold frilogy that runs around in it. Um... And when you turn to the, a different side, it has a different color. Some looks like it's purple. Some looks like it's blue, uh, silver. It's just a really super pretty fabric that I've had. And I know I have at least, good grief, four yards of it. I can make, actually make me a dress out of this. And that is something I really inquired. But I think, I think that it's going to look really pretty in this blouse. So I'm going to go ahead and make this blouse with this fabric. I think it'll be really lovely. And I'll have to um, fold that back up in a minute. The next thing that I've, I decided I want to make. It's a simplicity pattern too. It's S not S simplicity. 9742. And it's this dress right here. I think it's really super adorable. I like how it's gathered up here across. As you can see, I hope you can see that. Can you see how that does? It is super cute. Line drawings here. Uh-huh. On these here, of course, looks like this one has like it goes around the neck and ties. And then you have just the straps over. And then you have this one. And this is the one I'm doing. And this is the back of it. And then um, here it is again up here. And then here she's modeling it. But uh, the fabric I'm going to use for that is my checkered, checkered mauve. Now, I don't know what you think of when you look at this. But I think of like a prairie type pinafore. It's just the type of fabric it is. Um, but it's, it's kind of like on a linen feel. But I don't know that it's linen. I don't think it is. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell. I cannot. I don't think it is, um, but I just love it. I actually got this at a thrift store in a bundle for like $3. Um, the only reason I remember because it hasn't been very long ago. Otherwise, 
stuff in my stash I've had so long I can't remember where I got it how much I paid for I have no idea um but this is just perfect I think for this dress and I think it's going to come out really cute also too I think of those uh shirt dresses that used to be really popular at one time I mean they still are to a degree there's still patterns in the pattern books you can buy that you can make shirt dresses and I have several patterns for them but um I just chose this pattern I just like it a lot so that their fabric is going to go with that one and then my beautiful bird fabric that looks like watercolors I love this so much it is so beautiful so in order to cut this I had to make sure I had a pattern that I really liked and actually my sister gave me the idea of what pattern would be really cute in it she said why don't you go with a jumper that would be really cute and of course there are a zillion different types of jumpers some cross in the back some just go over your shoulder um yeah some have the the bib that comes way up here where you have to connect the little metal tool um what do you call that word they're the latches anyway or they have the the bib that comes up doesn't come up all the way it just comes a slight it's like a skirt so there are so many different styles of those, of those. but the style that i'm going to use is a mccall 2681 and if i'm not mistaken i actually looked on this pattern here at another time this is also a laura ashley pattern um uh, can you guess i really like laura ashley this here it is um 1986 yeah and here it's the pattern right here it's where it crosses in the front uh in this pattern you can also make the blouse as well right now that is not an uh an intention of mine if it works out that way and i find uh some fabric i like i may go that route but right now no but i'm making this blouse and here are the i don't know if you can see that uh, this dress right here uh, let's see what is that I guess that's the back of it yeah it comes down in a point in the back or no bow or nothing I'm not sure that's just the way the ink is right there then of course you have your short sleeve or your long sleeve blouse <coughs> and there is a zipper on the side but uh yep that's what I'm going to endeavor to do and um I am sure these ladies here, of course, you can go on here. It all usually tells you the numbers of the length when you're done with it. <coughs> but I know already that uh, it's going to be longer than me. So I should not have any trouble with having enough fabric to make this. And I'm just thinking it's going to be really pretty as a jumper. Now, there's one more item here that my plans are to make. Well, let me put this back in here. There's one more item on here that I, my plans are to make. And um, I actually kind of forgot about it. But I got to look in there again and see if I can find some fabric for this. But this is a Mrs. 6 to a 20. A modest playwear culottes. I love this. I've made this pattern several times. It's been a long time though. Your choices are you can just have a little split like a little, like, you know, sometimes you have blouses and it's got like that little split on both sides. You can actually have that on it or you can have a zipper. The zipper can be colored on the outside or it can just be one where you cannot see it or it has buttons on it. You can see right here where you have the overskirt and then you have the shorts up underneath it. Um, it is really an awesome skirt, especially if you have you those individuals who are not big, you don't wear pants. Uh, you want to be active. Um, I don't know. That doesn't stop me. Uh, I figure that if you're doing something that where you're going to show your undergarments, you probably shouldn't be doing it. But that's just me. That's the way I believe, the way I was raised. Um, but yeah, this is really a nice skirt. And I know today the culottes is more like the palazzo pants. I mean, they have the big legs on them. And if you stand a certain way, it looks like a skirt. I... I I have seen those. Uh, I may even have a pattern or two of those. But uh, in the books, it, when you see culottes, it's normally a split between the legs and they're just oversized. 
this is not that way. This here actually is connected to a waistband, of like a skirt. Uh, some of you that are my age or older may have seen these before. You know what I'm talking about. In the 70s, they used to have the cute little skirts. And there was like a pleat in the front where it, when you walked, uh, you could you could see. But uh, this is not like that. You will not be able to know when you look at this, it looks exactly like a skirt. And I think it's so cool because in past time, you could unzip the sides and then you could, like on your bicycle, you could paddle on your bike and still wear the culotte. So um, I haven't decided what fabric I'm going to use. Um, this here is called, let's see. Um, if, you're, if you're considering being outside and you want to use it as a um, athletic type thing, then um, you should probably get a line jerseys, uh, suplex uh, nylon, polyester spandex, Lycra is not recommended. Or if you just want it to be, you know, just culottes for your activities, then it says you can use denim, suiting. Uh, here it says flannel, wool blends. Oh, okay, that's for winter. Or if you want it just for regular wear, laundered cottons, baby core, denim, PQ, lightweight poplin, twill, Chow's laundered silk slash rayons, linen, and linen blends. Now, I'd never pictured these as being rayon. But uh, that would be the lighter. Yeah, that's, that's, hmm. I would not use that, at least not now. My goal right now is to get one so I can wear, ride my bike or just be active. And I ride my bike regardless. But uh, I just think it'd be cool. I've not made them in a while. So anyway, I have not picked my fabric yet. So I'll be sure. And when I go to make these, I will let you know what fabric I'm using. You will find out eventually. But uh, yeah, so those are my things I'm making. So one, two, three, four. So according to this, I have five items. So that should keep me busy in the month of April. So I'll get back with you and I'll let you see all those as I go and what's going on there. And um, yeah, hope you have a great Saturday. Uh, it is getting late. I'm not even sure what time it's getting on this camera here. I can't see. But uh, it's a beautiful day here in Kansas. It was a little windy today, uh, chilly earlier. But I'm sure right now it's probably either in the middle 60s, upper 60s. Even maybe lower 70s, not sure. The wind is open. It's not cold at all. It feels really great. But uh, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for watching me. Please put a thumbs up if you like this. And please subscribe. It would help me a lot. Bye now.